Hey there, what is up, plant community? If you like my videos, go ahead, give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thumbs up. It really helps me out, and it helps the channel out. So, today, today is going to be the last day we see the palms out here now, because, uh, for right now, including cycads and all that fun mess, because, uh, temperatures are going to drop rather, uh, significantly here. Um, I won't be bringing them out for a while again. Uh, hopefully things get warmer, but looking further into the forecast, we're going to be dropping into the single digits, and that's in Fahrenheit. I'm not sure what would be in Celsius, but yeah, so that means even the ground would freeze so if we had any palms in the ground maybe tracky carpus would be fine but you know anything else would have to be protected and you know even tracky carpus if it's small enough you would want to protect so let's let's look and see the um cycads and all them beautiful palms See how they're doing. So this is my Japanese cycad, also known as Sago Palm. It's it's got some yellowing still, but otherwise than that, he's doing all right. Which is surprising because terracotta gets surprisingly colder than plastic. This guy, of course, still looking blah. Yeah, giving you a, an update before it gets way too cold and I have to bring everything in. Over here we got my Majesty Palm. Wow, I don't know why that slipped my mind. That's like my favorite palm out here. Anyways, you know, he's got some dead fronds. Go to trim that off in the spring. But if we look down here, if I'm not mistaken, I think we winded up getting a bit more uh, trunk right here. Which is cool. That's awesome. That's all I want from this palm is more trunk. More trunk and more fronds for sure. Over here we have my Dayun Spinulosum Cycad. Looking a little discolored, but it always does that during the winter time. It'll get more, ow, it'll get more green whenever I bring it in. Got some of the old fronds here. These are more of the newer fronds right here besides this guy. Um, let's go over here and look at the tracky. Got a weed eat the tracky. Yeah, got some weeds growing in there. Got to eventually weed eat him out. But, uh, yeah, he seems to be doing good. Got the spear here that's wanting to come out. And then in here we got a new spear. And, um, I could show this on video. They really have time to show it on video, but, uh, I went ahead, trimmed all the dead foliage off. And, you know, I was watching a video on a uh, Facebook that I remembered I did about this guy about taking the cold. I forgot he could take cold. He could take quite a bit of cold. But the key was, was to get him adjusted for um, the snow. And I forgot that they could take quite a bit of cold, but they don't prefer to take the snow. So, like, they could take frost and things, but they'd rather not take the snow. I don't know why that is. I'll keep trying to adjust them to it, but, uh, yeah, I had to trim away all the dead just to repot this guy. But if we look... We still got this frond, not nice and strong, well, spear, wanting to come out. If we go in here with the newest foliage, still have that wanting to come out right there. Then we have this spear here, which I don't like pruning my palms like this, but it protects them from the wind out here in the end of the day. He did fall when we had really strong winds. And uh, so no soil, none of the fresh soil was knocked out, but, you know, unless they're actually damaged bad, like this frond I kept because it's not damaged bad. 
see a little bit of the cold damage here, but it's not damaged that bad, so I went ahead and kept it. And, uh, yeah, or else it really wouldn't have that many fronds at all. So, if we go over here to the Cordyline Australis, I'll have to bring him in too because of a hard freeze. We'll have a hard freeze. Meaning that even the soil inside of the uh, pot here will um, freeze up. So, got to take him in. And it doesn't help either that all the plants yesterday got watered. So, yeah, I'll have to, uh, besides that guy over there, because he's up underneath the, um, whatever you'd call that. I think it's an awning or whatever. Anyways... So, yeah, he didn't get water. We'll go around back. Check out around back. All right, around back, of course. Everything's dormant, including the ferns around this point of time. So, yeah, we got my lady finger. I don't mind the dead tips. The dead tips make it look more wild. I like the wild look on palms sometimes. Um... His spear's still good. Took the cold like a champ. Him over here. He's doing good. His spears are still good. But of course, if a spear ever goes out on this, I could just cut it right back and it'll form a new spear somewhere else. Of course, he needs a repop. But uh, yeah, he's doing relatively good too. It's always more colder in the back because there's less sun. Well, I mean, there's just less sun. As you can see throughout this whole year, it's just we don't get much sun in the back, which makes it more colder than it would in the front. All right, going here, checking out the Majesty Palm. It's, I'm not sure about it, man. This, this has me worried. It shouldn't be doing that. I think it, it would have survived our winter. Especially if I could have brought it in. I think I think what's doing this guy in is um I, I overwatered it and then when I meant to bring it in I was too late and it winded up getting some rain water and it might have been too much for it. Um should have probably watered a little less since it was in the ground because even though they do like a good amount of water, this was also submerged in the ground a bit so I don't think it really appreciated that any and not that I did appreciate it it just more or less did evaporate the water like I needed it to in a pot because they take a lot more water in a pot than they would naturally in the ground so yeah so he's not looking too good uh, hopefully he'll make it and I can bring him out during the spring so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it of the uh, palms outside. Um, I haven't done a video inside or plant updates on the inside plants. If you'd like to see a video on that, let me know. But for now, I'm just mainly focusing on the palms because the palms is what I bring in and out every year and is what I really try to keep in the front. Palms are, in my opinion, are supposed to represent in the front garden as kind of like the beach area or whatever, but it's supposed to be kind of like a prehistoric-like tropical garden, but yeah, then we go in the back and everything's just really green and tropical, but yeah, if you guys want to see an update video on any of the plants inside, please leave a comment. Like, share, and sub and subscribe. It helps me out. Really helps the channel out. And um, if you guys want to update on any of the plants besides just the palms and Cordyline Australis, you know, let me know. Because, you know, I, I bring those out too. It's just you can't really zone push a lot of those because those are more tropical tropicals. Like, they can't really take a good amount of cold. But yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Have a good rest of the day.